If you want your Silent Hill FPS go from here to here, stick around. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix these horrendous stutters and lags when you play Silent Hill 2. And I will show you how to play this game on a low-end PC by turning graphic to sh**. So leave a like and subscribe. Let's do this. First choose which upscaling method you want to use. If you have a GTX card, I would go with FSR 3. After we install the mod, you can't change this. You can, but when you do, the game is going to override the mod files. For frame generation to work, you need DirectX 12. For that, go to your Silent Hill 2 installation location. Go to SH Proto, Binaries, Win64 and make a shortcut of this application on the desktop. Then right click on it, go to properties. In the target section, go to the end of it and press space and type hyphen DX12 like this. Apply and OK. So I'm going to use two separate mods for this. One is SH2 Essentials by Hybrid. He has a YouTube channel as well. Check that out. And the other one is from Sony. Sony. Anyway, I'm going to combine these two mods to make the game run better. Of course, it will have a quality hit. So first make an XS account, otherwise you can't download from it. And I'm not going to put any separate download links. Come here and download this. It will also help these guys. So go to files in hybrids mod. And there are two types, ultra performance and ultra quality. As the name implies, ultra performance will give you ultra performance. Well, duh. I will show you how to install both. So click on manual download and then slow download. Do the same to download the Sony mod. You can use these mods individually if you want, but I'm going to combine them. If I combine these two, the game graphics will lose some of their quality, but it will remove stutter. And these two will destroy the quality. So this is for desperate people. In this video, I'm only going to focus on FSR 3 and frame generation. And you can experiment yourself when I tell you how to do this. Open the sh2 spf file and extract this engine.ini file to the desktop and rename it to something that you can recognize later. Let's try the ultra quality first. So open ultra quality zip file. In here, go to app data. You can choose either one of these. 0.5x will give you a little bit more FPS, but I'm going with 1.5x because this is ultra quality and because I need the game to be sharp. And here you need to choose the upscaling method that you chose before in game settings. If you are going to do this on DX11 mod, try to use TSR or no anti-aliasing. Make sure to open the game before doing anything and set the upscaling method to none or TSR. For me, it's going to be FSR 3 plus frame generation. Open it and choose the quality you want. I'm going for FSR 3 quality. Copy this engine.ini to the desktop as well. Then what you want to do is open both of them and put them side by side like this or however you like. And these are the modifications that they did to make the game better. So what you want to do is just copy everything under the render settings in the hybrids engine.ini file and paste it to the spf engine.ini file. Copy everything under system settings to the SPF file as well. Make sure to copy and paste everything in the hybrids engine file to the SPF engine file. Now you can save the file. Open ultra quality zip file again and open the installed guide text file. In here, copy this file path. Press Windows plus R or you can just click on the start menu and type run. Remove anything in there and paste the path that we copied just now. This is the in-game engine.ini file. Before we do this, if you want, you can backup your stock engine file. 
After that, rename this SPF file in the desktop as engine.ini. Drag it here and overwrite. Go again to ultra quality zip file and go to the game directory folder and search proto folder. If you want, you can back up the binaries and plugins folders in the game installation folder. Then extract everything in the zip file to the game folder. And open the game using the desktop shortcut. First launch will take some time, so be patient. After this, game will load faster thanks to the uh, mods. You can see some graphical artifacts here and there, but the game is smooth and feels more responsive. And still my CPU is holding back. Other than that, the game running smoothly. Let's try the Ultra Performance mode. So same steps as before, open Ultra Performance zip file and open App Data folder. This is Ultra Performance, right? So I'm going to use the 0.5x sharpening. So open the FSR3 plus frame gen folder. You can choose quality or you can choose performance. It's your choice. From here on out, same steps as before. After editing and replacing the engine file, you can open the game now. You do not have to copy the game directory files into the game folder. Again, loading will take some time. Be patient. As you can see, even in the main menu, graphics are bad. But the FPS boost is great. Sometimes the game will crash. When that happens, you can restart the game. So this is what it looks like. And look at the FPS, it's a lot. The fog is little bit extreme, but it's not that bad because the game has fog anyway. Not this close though. So no reflections or anything on the floor. The character look like shit. It is ultra performance. Do this ultra performance thing if you are desperate. But this is okay for me. I can play like this. I don't know if you can. And again, these random hiccups because of my weak CPU. Like I said in the previous video, if you have a good CPU, you can get more stable gameplay. I will play for some time to see if the game is gonna crash or not. So that's it. I hope this will finally fix your stuttering and other performance issues. Until next video, adios amigos. More of that. Hey, wait.
Stay back. <laughs> 